Well, we're going to. I'm going to show you uh, an easy way to draw the smokestack here on the uh, on the train. That's just going to be a revolve. We did this with uh, some other things. We did that with the uh, um, cap on on the sports bottle. But if you click on the revolve button, uh, are we supposed to do this? no, you don't have to do this right oh, now. Okay. Uh, then click on the placement and say define because you have to define where you're going to go. And you can just uh, click on the front datum plane and hit sketch. And then uh, just sketch out a uh, shape here that you want it to uh, be. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create half of it. And you see it kind of slopes at an angle there. So I'm going to uh, start it here at the bottom and draw this line across. Kind of come up at an angle then come back over to the center and then come straight down here and then uh, create my dimensions for that which uh, let's see here so down here at the bottom I got uh, three quarters and you have to kind of think of this as half because I drew half of this shape and we're going to revolve it all the way around so half of, of three quarters is three eighths or three point seven five uh, the height of this thing was I didn't measure that I'm going to go with one and three quarters so the height of this is 1.75 and I gotta zoom in and then the top was one and a quarter or half of one and a quarter was five eighths and that decimal is 0.625 and then uh, sometimes it's too far away from the center so if you change that number right there to zero and uh, it'll, it'll help you out there. So I have my, my basic shape here and I, I got it sketched out. I need to add a center line so we know what we're going to revolve around. So I'm going to click on my center line right here in the middle and then I'll hit the, uh, the blue check mark and there's my my revolve for that smokestack. I'll hit the green button and then to, to kind of finish that up there was just a little bit of a round at the top of it. Notice that a slight round doesn't really matter uh, what you do just, just uh, round that top a little bit. So that's the uh, that's the smokestack there. The other thing I wanted to show you were the the wheels and again you're gonna basically draw the wheel assembly as um, once and then we will add it for the two parts for the uh, the two sets of wheels for the uh, the engine and then the two sets of wheels for the the, the uh, train car as well because there's no sense drawing this four times when we can draw it once uh, and then assemble it multiple times it's a little easier that way so to draw that um, oops. Uh, to draw that basically uh, there's a uh, center axle that runs through the uh, the middle the uh, train car here the engine <laughs> excuse me uh, so there's an axle there and that axle and we'll start off with uh, with that and that axle is uh, uh, three eighths in diameter so just draw a circle and change that to three eighths and that decimal is 0.375 and then uh, we'll check mark that and then we'll extrude that now again when we extrude it just goes on one one side of the the datum plane and we kinda want it on both sides it'll be a little easier when we assemble this so if we go to this button right here it says extrude on on both sides of the sketch plane 
We'll click that and you can see it shifts over right here to both both sides of that plane and then it was uh, uh, how far was it? Two and a quarter. So I'll change this to 2.25 and there's my there's my axle and then I'm gonna sketch on one of these faces right here I'm gonna sketch on that face or that surface and I'm gonna make a bigger circle for the uh, the wheel and the diameter of the wheel is what was it? One and a half, so one point five. Um, and then we'll hit the check mark and we'll extrude that. And the width of it was uh, a half an inch or point five there. And so there's uh, there's part of the uh, the wheel. We just got to do the other side now. And uh, actually, we'll uh, we'll go to the sketch. We'll sketch on the other face of the uh, the axle. And what we can do to to make this a little easier is we can go up to sketch and reference and create a reference with this this outside circle that we just drew and so when I go to draw my circle it should kind of snap to that that larger diameter circle or the, the wheel and we'll hit the blue check mark and then extrude uh... it was uh... Um, one and a half 1.5 and then uh, again this one was 0.5 here and then that's just about all you have to do just uh, add a few rounds to these uh, these wheels and I don't know what uh, whatever looks good there so just add uh, add a few rounds of those wheels and that's pretty much uh, all there is to the, the axle then we'll save this as its own file and then instead of having to redraw that four times we can just you know bring that into an assembly uh, a couple times any questions on that